mining. It's coming up to the end of the year. Hoping to get in a long bike ride today. I'm just starting out. Early days so far. What I can see so far. Nice day. And feeling ready to ride. The original plan for today was a little bit different. We're going to do a walk five hills. One of my friends, six, so in this day and age, can't take any risks. So I'd like to try and get up five hills during this ride as well. So I'm looking to include five hills in my ride today. I've got Percival Hill behind me. Not so far from home, so I've been here plenty of times. I haven't spotted any snakes as yet, which is good because the grass is quite long. Um, there's various ways to get up to this Percival Hill. I've gone up a variety of them, including over there, just straight up through the bush. Um, this one I haven't done, and this is, looks like a pretty straightforward track, especially compared to this long grass I've just been traveling through. All right, made it to the first hill, Percival Hill, Not related to Mr. Percival, Pelican, from Storm Boy. This Mr. Percival was one of the early surveyors of the ACT. All right, so it was just under 8 k's to that first hill. It's a bit of a steep climb coming up there. Uh, should be a good run down. Right. It's a nice, calm, still day today. Only annoyance so far is the flies. change of scenery this is the BMX jumps and things at Gangalan so we're right in the town centre now um, pretty much up to my first hour I've only done 12 k's but one hill so let's see how we go I'll show a little bit on here I'm by no means an expert of this style of riding for just a little bit of flat riding. Hopefully can click up a few k's reasonably quickly and across Mulligan's flat. Right. Mulligan's flat. This is a nature sanctuary. So you can see some pretty unique animals in here. Uh, it's also reasonably flat. So I should be able to pick up some speed. Alright. Leaving from Mulligan's Flat. Here along the Centenary Trail. Coming into the Guru Nature Reserve. Used to come along this part of the track quite a bit. Haven't been this way for a long while. Right, climbing again. Certainly not setting any speed records. Getting up to the Guru. That direction, a bit larger. It's 
the old Joe. That's the significant hill in this Guru. So if I get them both, it'll take me to three. That one was a bit of a battle. There's only these markers and not much of a track. So I just bash through the long grass. You can see the tree up on Old Joe. You can see it from here. Good view from here, from the Guru Hill. Better keep moving. Get out of this long grass. Better mention it as well. Just past the two hour mark, 24k so far, so the same as the last hour, another hill as well. Uh, I'd like to pick up the pace a bit for the next segment once I come down from the old Joe, which will give me some boost. Onwards and upwards. Old Joe, you're next. Alright, number three. It's the old tree, old, old Joe trig. That trig's actually in New South Wales. I'm in the ACT. That was hard work. It started off with a pretty nice track, but that just disappeared. Then, just following the, the fence line, which that is the border. Um, there's not much of a track at the top here either. Hopefully I pick up something a little along the way. Where to next is the question. I don't remember the complete absence of track the last time I came along here. Let's get back down to the flat and onto the track. Those were famous last words about getting up some speed coming down the hill. It's even harder going going down than coming up. Alright, here's my first sign of a track. Unfortunately I'm the, on the wrong side of an electric fence against it. But I guess it means I'm heading in the right direction. All right. I'm probably equal parts brave and stupid, but it worked. Popped the fence. I didn't get electrified. I'm on the track. My shoes and socks are full of spikes. It's hot. Let's get going. So I've just crossed the three hour mark. I'm finally back on track. And that's why I've been up there a few times, the Burnt Stump Hill. I'm going to give that one a miss for the moment. That was certainly the slowest of the hours. I haven't actually even passed 30, so um, about 5Ks in that last whole hour, with a lot of it spent in the long grass trying to get back on track. Back to the good old electric fence. Come through the gate this time. Um, I think I'll call a forfeit on the 100, but I'll make sure to get in those five hills. Three ticked off, but the next segment I want to just ride and make up some distance, hoping that I at least tick off the 50k mark. Then I might have a swim before going home. So a few spikes there on the collection. Luckily, I've changed socks. I'm going to try and get some of the spikes out of the shoes as well. It's a bit more comfortable. Now that I'm not going for the 100, I can stop for a bit of a rest here. Alright, let's see how the kicking goes after a few hours and a few hills. Some radio 
Jura bike track. I'm here to the Majura Parkway. One of my early ideas was to go into Majura Pines. I'm a bit sick of the hard yards at the moment, so I might just stick to this well made pass. Heading up to Mount Pleasant now, which is inside the Royal Military College in Duntroon. Alright, Mount Pleasant, number four. One of the best views in the city and also not too challenging a journey uphill. Right. Question. Be which will be number five. All right, current stats on the fourth hill 46 k's, about four and a half hours. Had a bit of trouble there on the old Joe going very slow, and then had a bit of a rest once I got out of that area. But um, picked up a bit of pace along that smooth bike track along the Madura Parkway. Up the 50k mark. This journey's taking me far and wide. Coming into the city now, haven't been in the city for a long time. Past the five hour mark now. I think I'm starting to run out of steam. Alright, I'll take a short swim. Try and refresh the body a bit for the journey back home. I don't know if I'll worry about making a fifth hill for the day. Four is plenty. 56 kilometers is a fair few. Had my swim, did it refresh me? Slightly. Uh, that sort of swim is good for refreshing after you know, a decent session in the gym or you know, a run, but uh, after all these cases on the bike, probably gonna need to lie down to get a proper refreshment. But I went home straight, just near K Rain, it's not too far from home. Pretty well back to where it all began, the Girulang Pond. Just one final climb, that is always the problem. Living anywhere on a hill, you get the good downhill, but then you have to pay it back at a later date, and that time is now. Let's do it. 